Okay guys, I haven't forgotten, I will be creating a video teaching you how to make fragrances. It's a work in progress, I'm stalling. So this video is kind of a substitute. Of course, I've uh, kept an eye on the comments that you left in the last video, in last week's um, giveaway. The winner will be announced in the description down below. Congratulations to you. I will be messaging you very shortly to give you whatever designer fragrance that you want. Thank you guys again for 40,000 subscribers. Class is in session. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm not the best at keeping up with video schedules. Uh, I'm always a little bit behind on this channel. So, uh, as I said, I was meant to release a video to you guys uh, uh, on Sunday, teaching you how to make fragrances in your own home. Um, because I couldn't do it in time, I'm going to instead react to this video uh, called simply How Perfume is Created. I've watched it like the first 30 seconds of it only so far. I don't know what the rest of the video is like. I think they got like a Chanel perfumer they review, uh, they interview, sorry, and uh, they're just going to talk to him. Uh, it should be interesting. It's sort of linked to what that future video I'm going to make is going to be on. It's going to be about making fragrances. So let's look into the process of creating fragrances ourselves, the perfumery. You know, guys, let's, let's get into perfumery. You know, don't mind me being slow. Uh, let's just uh, have fun today. Let's do a reaction video. Creating a fragrance is like creating anything that's premeditated. Uh, we start with an idea. Uh, whether it's a dish you're going to cook in the kitchen or whether it's a, a painting that you're going to paint, before you start, you have to know what you're going to do. So true. Uh, in fragrances, in perfumery, before you start anything, know your brief in your head. Know, okay, I want to create a uh, daring sweet fragrance for a, a biker dude who wants something crazy and animalic you can wear all year round, both, that's both daytime and nighttime signature, something like that. You know, you have to have an audience in mind, scent profile in mind. Uh, before you can really create anything. As you said, you, it's like cooking. You need to have a dish in your mind. I want to make something that's Italian. I want to make a, a, a Thai dish. I want to make a curry, etc. Um, so, of course, think about who is going to be wearing the fragrance, who is it for, and what occasion is it for. A perfumer knows whether he's going to create or she's going to create for um, uh, women or for men, and whether it's going to be a fragrance which is more a day fragrance which is fresh and light or whether it's going to be more of an evening fragrance which is maybe going to be more sensual or soft and powdery. The creation of a perfume, you have to uh, make up a formula which is, uh, you could compare more or less to a, a cooking recipe. But, uh, By the way guys, these are some of the biggest names in perfumery. Olivier Polch, yeah, he's going to be one of the main perfumers for Chanel. He's the son of uh, Jack Polch. He's made big fragrances like Bleu de Chanel Parfum, Boy Chanel, Chanel Chance, or Vivre. Uh, yeah, a lot of big names. Um, he made Only the Brave. He made, oh wow, he made Dior Homme, the original. He was involved in the, uh, yeah, Olivier Polch made a Dior Homme. So yeah, these are big names in this video but very precise and elaborate with many, many ingredients. The very first act of creation is hard to describe, but I think that uh, it starts with a, a little nothing, uh, like a click, which uh, probably defined the soul of a fragrance. You know, that is so true. I mean, it's funny the way it says very French. It starts with a little nothing, uh, but it, it just a little click. I think uh, that's a terrible French accent, but yeah, I think it's true. <laughs> Guys, it's late at night, I'm so tired, I'm becoming hysterical, I'm doing stupid accents. But uh, when I've, I find when I'm doing uh, fragrance creating myself, that it is all a lot of intuition. It's sort of like when you're cooking, you just know, oh, I could use a little bit more salt. Uh, I think this spice would go well in here. And you know how much to add. Your nose sort of picks up its own natural intuition. You have your own style, and that's why every perfumer is is, is waiting to be created and be uh, be born um, into the world of perfumery. Everyone has their own style, and you'll notice every perfumer, no matter which brand they're working for, has their own particular uh, style of base notes, for example. And you always just smell. It's, it's, it's their work. It's basically like their signature on everything they do. With technology, there are always advancements, and whether it's extracting natural products using new techniques, or whether it's discovering new molecules that don't exist in nature, we're always receiving new ideas. 
an example of uh, molecules that don't exist in nature uh, is, are, are things like aldehydes, which you obviously classically find in Chanel number no. 5, uh, or even musks. Uh, some musks are, are, don't really... Some traditional musks obviously are based on what animals used to produce, like deer musk. But there's some clean white musks like uh, galaxoli, which I don't think you'll find in nature. I don't believe that new ideas are necessary to create a brand new fragrance. It's a bit like if I may make the uh, association with the inkjet printer, which has only four cartridges and yet can make 16 million colors. And for comparison, there are 8,000 uh, perfume <laughs> raw materials to use. So if four colors can make 16 million uh, combinations, that just goes to show that there's infinite creative possibilities with fragrances. Colors. It's quite enough, the palette we already have of traditional ingredients to create many new ideas. So we're going to choose our jasmine, our rose, maybe tuberose for a white floral note. We're going to want some freshness, so we're going to choose to have mandarin or lemon, for example. And we make a note of all these ingredients. And then we start... And then blast it with some broxen and just make it synthetic and long-lasting as hell. That's what they always do for designer fragrances. Then we start to get a picture and uh, start dosing the main ingredients. Perfume is a craft where the technical and the emotional side are very tied together. The very beginning of a creation is probably more tied to the emotion, which gives probably the, the spirit of the whole fragrance. But then very early in the creation process, there is a technical side to it. The best result is when the technical side is not visible. By technical side, I probably mean that the proportions of a fragrance usually uh, have to be mathematically really correct to just be pleasant to the nose. I'm not sure how exactly how it works, but apparently that's a thing in perfumery, getting the exact weight ratios of different ingredients, and also having the exact amounts that are regulated and allowed for by IFRA. There's a lot of regulation in perfumery. The rose is the morning dew, it's the it's a fresh floral fragrance, it's very feminine. Unless you like rocking toy boy, there's no shame in it, guys. You can rock rose as well. There is the jasmine, which is a, a wonderful fragrance, which smells divine in the middle of the night, which is picked in the morning because the, it smells perfect in the morning. It has a, a sensuality about it. It's a very sensual fragrance. I think, personally, working with Jasmine uh, Absolute in my own um, little collection of ingredients is one of the nicest notes in perfumery, but it smells feminine. I find it hard to put in fragrances uh, unless you, to make it masculine, unless you blast it with woody molecules to make it more masculine. It is, it is a beautiful note. I think it's one of the greatest notes in, in the world. And it's, it usually comes from Egypt, so maybe that's why I have a, a, a liking to it. Orange Blossom. Orange Blossom. It's almost associated with the sun. It's fresh. And it's exclusively usually only reserved for female fragrances, orange blossom. It would be interesting to see a male fragrance with it. If you guys know any men's fragrances with orange blossom, a prominent orange blossom note, let me know. Let me know if you do, because I think that'd be really interesting. Uh, it's a white flower, but at the same time, it smells of oranges and lemons, and it has a, a wonderful freshness, associated also with cologne fragrances, for example. Uh, in the form of Neroli, which is the oil of orange blossom. The tuberose, magnificent flower, and not an innocent smell at all. Uh, almost narcotic. Yeah, so uh, finally, I mean, he talks about more ingredients, but um, also know, guys, that in nature, in perfumery, perfumers don't use only one part of a, a plant. They use different parts of it. As you said, you can use uh, you can use an orange plant, for example, an orange tree. You can use the uh, leaves of it, the orange leaf, the orange blossom, the orange fruit itself. You have uh, oils that represent the bitterness of the orange zest or the juiciness of the uh, orange insides. Um, and again, like with orange blossom and neroli as well, as he said. So yeah, there's a lot to do in perfumery. There's a lot of ingredients. Uh, what did you guys think of this video? Um, I think, you know, it gives us just a little bit of a tinge of how beautiful the craft can be. 
and hopefully it gets you a little bit hyped up for our video coming out on, on how to set up your own perfumers lab in your own room. Um, do you guys ever want to create fragrances on your own? Do you think it's too difficult? Do you think it's inaccessible? Hopefully we make it accessible in our upcoming series. Um, I, as I said, every, every person is just waiting to be a perfumer. You don't have to be a scientist. A lot of it, most of it I say is more creativity than science. Um, so hopefully you guys um, maybe get more interested in creating your own fragrances at home, getting your own raw materials. Let me know guys. Make sure to check out our other videos as well in the meantime. Well done to whoever won the giveaway in the, in the description down below. I'll see you in the next one guys. Class dismissed.